Dental composite is typically made of a mixture of a resin matrix and inorganic filler particles, such as glass or quartz. The resin matrix is bis-GMA, the hydroxyl groups of which forms intermolecular hydrogen bonds, while the filler particles enhance the strength and wear resistance of the composite. The procedure for a composite filling involves several steps, and why each step is important, here's a detailed breakdown. Initial assessment. The dentist examines the teeth and may take x-rays to identify cavities or areas of decay. This step is crucial to determine the need for a composite filling. Numbing the area. Local anesthesia is applied to ensure comfort during the procedure. This step is important to prevent pain and discomfort. Removing the decay and preparing the tooth. Decayed tooth material is removed, and the tooth is prepared for the filling. This preserves the natural tooth structure and creates a stable foundation for the filling. How composite binds to the tooth. First is etching the surface. The first step involves etching the tooth's exposed surfaces with an acidic tooth conditioner. It normally contains 30 to 40 percent phosphoric acid. The conditioner is spread out over the tooth where the bonding will be placed. It's allowed to sit for at least 15 seconds and then is thoroughly washed off. Microscopically, etching dissolves some of the minerals in the enamel and dentin. This steady erosion creates rough features called tags and tunnels that can better absorb bonding resin chemically and physically lock it into place on the enamel and dentin surface. Application of bonding agent. The dentist will now paint or dab bonding agent onto the etched tooth surface using a small brush or applicator. Curing the bonding agent. Once the bonding agent has been applied, the dentist will shine a curing light on it. The light from one of these units is usually blue in color. It activates a catalyst in the bonding agent that causes it to harden. It takes about 10 to 20 seconds of exposure. An initial micro-mechanical bond has now been established with the tooth's etched surface. Placing the composite. Now that an initial bond has been established, successive layers of dental composite are added in putty consistency. The dentist will apply it in small portions and gently pat each into place until that part has the needed shape. As each one is added and set by the curing light, it creates a chemical bond with the bonding agent or previously placed layers of composite. Shaping and polishing. The dentist sculpts the composite to match the natural contours of the tooth and the filling is polished for a smooth finish. Restoring its function and ensuring it blends seamlessly with other teeth. Final inspection and aftercare. The dentist checks the bite and provides aftercare instructions to maintain oral hygiene and the integrity of the filling. Indications for composite. Small to moderate sized lesions in posterior teeth. On front teeth and premolars where aesthetics is the main concern. For core buildup. When moisture control of operating site is easy. For replacing old metal fillings. Thank you.